let's try to balance the reaction of sodium with oxygen to produce sodium oxide. So now we want to balance the reaction between sodium and oxygen to form sodium oxide. So we look at the numbers of elements on both sides. We have sodium and we have oxygen. So on the product side, we have two sodiums. And on the reactant side, we have one sodium. For oxygen, we have one on the product side and two on the reactant side. Now, oxygen always comes as O2, so there's always two oxygen molecules, which means that no matter what, on our product side, we must have an even number of oxygen atoms. So we will first do um, a multiplication by two of both of our, we'll add two sodium oxides. So we'll have um, four sodiums and we will have two oxygens. So now we have an even number of oxygen atoms on the product side, and that matches the two that we have on the reactant side. Now the easiest thing to do now is simply multiply the number of sodium atoms by four to get four sodium atoms on both the reactant side and on the product side. And so our balanced equation becomes four sodium atoms react with one oxygen to form two sodium oxides. And that's how we would balance this reaction.